Hey everyone, welcome to the tutorial on how to convert your RPG Maker MZ game into an APK so it can be played on Android devices. So the first thing you'll want to do is go to uh, Android Studio and download that. I'll put the links to all of the websites and things that you'll need in the description. But you just go here, see that download Android Studio Jellyfish, just click that, you just scroll all the way down, agree to sell your soul, and you hit download. I've already got it installed, so I'm not going to re-download it and reinstall it, but you can just go ahead and follow the installation. So next thing you'll need to do is go to your RPG Maker MZ. Go to File Deployment and you know go ahead and export it as a you know web browser or Android whatever. I've already got my file handy, so I don't need to export it again. Next thing you'll need is to download this myapplication.7zip. You'll need this for Android Studio. And you can find it here on this tutorial page. This is the tutorial page that I used to figure out how to do this in the first place, but it's not, uh, you know, it's got a few errors and omissions here and there. Got to go into the comments to try to figure some stuff out. But, uh, you know, you got me here now, who's already gone through all the trouble to figure everything out. And you just scroll down to step three, and it'll be there. There it is. There's the GitLab link. And then you're going to download the myapplication.7zip. And I'm going to go ahead and download it again, just so I got a clean one to work with. And once you got your application.7zip. You can go ahead and right click on it and extract it. It's going to extract into my downloads so I gotta go drag out the folder. By the way I'm having to re-record this because well I'm just recording the audio over the video. Alright so here you go open up Android Studio and the first thing you're going to want to do is click on those three dots on the top right. And you're going to click on SDK Manager. There's a few settings in here that we got to change. So for me, I've got all three of these Android 14.0s selected. I don't know if you need to have them all selected. But I just went ahead and selected all of the newest ones just to make sure. But for this page, it's important that you have the same things that I have installed. You may want to install the Intel, you know, whatever that is down there if you have an Intel processor, but I don't, so whenever I try to install it, it just fails to install. But you'll definitely want all this stuff, the SDK build tools, the Android SDK, the emulator stuff, the SDK platform tools, an APK expansion library, those two are pretty important. And then the Google Play stuff, I don't know if it's necessary, but it should start to select it anyway when you open it up. So you'll need to you know, click on all those and then you'll have to install them all. Then when that's done installing, we'll be ready to open the project. So you just click on open there. At some point, I'll click on open there. There it is. So you go there, there's the My Application. You click the drop down arrow, and then you click the that first thing in there that's got the little Android icon. And you want to trust the project so that I can hack into your system and steal all your information. Okay, now that we got that open. 
Uh, it's going to, you know, Gradle's going to configure everything, so you just got to let it do its thing while it loads the file. Takes, uh, you know, not too long. Got it up now. So, now that you got all that open, the first thing you want to do is you want to open up this folder right there that's in the Java. You can see it's that example instrument test. You want to do the same thing in the IAP in the same file location. You want to go ahead and then delete both of those example instrumented test, uh, you know, whatever they are. Because if you don't, you'll end up getting an error when you try to build the APK that it says it couldn't define the test or whatever. You'll get a bunch of errors that says something about like test and junip and stuff. That'll just come up if you don't delete these. So if you delete these, you'll be good on that. Next thing you'll want to do. Uh, well, you can close the IAP because we're not going to be messing with it. I don't know what the IAP relates to. I'm pretty sure it has more to do with uh, if you're going to be posting something on the Google Play Store. But I'm just uploading something for itch.io. So I just need the APK. I don't need an AAB. Yeah, so you'll want to get your extracted game folder. So whatever RPG Maker extracted, you'll want to get that folder. Open it up. Just copy all the contents in there. And then we're going to be pasting that into the only section. You're going to want to go into the assets section right there. And then there's already going to be a www folder. So then you just right click and hit paste. There it is. Just put all that in there. takes a little bit of time depending on how big your project is. Mine's a little over 300 megabytes for mobile. So, you know, it takes about 20 seconds. And there we go. You can see all the files that were extracted are now in there. So you can go up to File. You're going to want to go down to Project Structure. Then in the SDK location, I'm going to go to uh, Gradle settings right there. K okay, at the bottom, you're going to want to open up that uh, whatever JDK and choose the download JDK and just choose the newest version. And you'll want to make sure you choose Oracle Open JDK. You hit download, hit OK. Hit OK again. You'll be good there. Now what you want to do is in the www folder, you know, with all your game content, you're going to open up the JS folder and click on RMMZ uh, Manager. And scroll all the way down to line 2109. 2109. You'll find this text to code here. We gotta edit this because if you don't edit this, you'll get a black screen and the game just won't load. So you go down to this tutorial at the very bottom in the extras section. Here we go, we'll be talking about it. You just gonna, gonna copy that modify to section right there. And we're just gonna highlight all that and then paste in the new line of code and then we'll be good there and then at this point you're you're good so you can hit uh, sync project with Gradle files you let it do its thing sometimes it can take a little bit of time there we go and uh, yeah, you get those uh, project update recommended, but uh, I don't really care to update it because, you know, it took too long to figure out how to get this to work anyway, so I don't need to 
be adding in some other variables that I can't control. Uh, but now I'll be talking about how to change some of the stuff in the game, so like editing the game name so that the app will have the right name that you want. You'll want to go to the res folder and then the values and right click strings then at the very bottom it says open translated ed editor and then right there you can change the name to whatever you want the name to be for me I got Lavania and you've got the name change there if that's all you want to do you can sync the project with Gradle files again but uh, you know I like to go that little extra step so we're going to be editing the icon that's going to appear to do that you're going to want to right click that mitmap map and delete it and then right click the res folder click new asset uh, image asset then you can you know you'll be greeted with that and then in the pathway right there that I click you'll want to find the the uh, you know your image that you want to put there so I'm just gonna go ahead and look for that in here and there it is there's my image icon it shows you how it's gonna appear on different devices I, I suppose I've never used an Android before yeah it'll tell you it's gonna replace some files but that's fine probably just replacing whatever it was before now all we need to do is sync the files one last time so we'll do that sync project and there we go it's done syncing now this next part is pretty important we're going to build a or we're going to generate a signed bundle slash apk I've tried messing around with the build bundle slash apk before it used to work for me but I can't get it to work now because this I'm using a different file base so just do the generate assigned bundle make sure apk is selected and in here at the top for the module you'll want it to be the only module not the IAP version and then you'll see that uh, key store path you'll want to change you want to create a new one of those uh, I've created one already before so uh, it's just gonna ask you some stuff like uh, you know the pathway that you want it to be in you can make it anywhere on your PC you need to put a password in there for it then the alias you can put whatever and then the password for that should be the same as the password as before you can keep the 25 validity years you know my game won't be out in that amount of time anyway and then all the other stuff you can fill in there's a tutorial online on how to fill this stuff in that I'll show here in a second so it will shows you on the you know, right there the picture of how it was filled in over there more information on how to do it okay and there it is there's the file that I've already made I'm changing the key alias to be the name of my game I don't know if that matters I don't even know if I should be showing you that but it's alright there it is and then you know I just re-entered the password alright and then you can hit next and then you'll want to make sure that you're choosing the release variant not the debug and just uh, up there at the top you'll want to change where it's being downloaded to so it can be anywhere but it's just that that default path that it gives you doesn't exist so you're just gonna have to put it somewhere so for me I'm gonna put it in my downloads folder it's pretty easy for me to quickly access that there it is and then once you got both of those you can hit create and it'll take a little bit of time 
Mine takes about a minute 45 here, so we'll just skip ahead to that. All right, we've skipped ahead, and as you can, well, as you can see here in a second, there it is. There's the folder that it just created, release folder. When you double click on that, it's going to show you your APKs that got downloaded. And right here, so there's the APKs. I'm going to drag over blue stacks because this is what I use to test if uh, the game will actually run on Android. So you just click install local APK there. I'm going to drag over the, the universal release one that's in the middle there, that's the only one you need to worry about. It's the only one that matters. So just drag it in there, and then boom. Installation complete. And then you get that little icon. I don't know where that icon's from. And there it is. <clears throat> you can see that there's some missing images on the side because I hadn't figured out how to get the on-screen mobile controls to work at this point, but I already figured out how to do that irrelevant to the tutorial but as you can see it's it's launched and loaded and running as it should on mobile and you can see there it's got the name of the game and the icon just like we added before and that's pretty much it so I hope you found the tutorial useful it certainly took a lot of time to figure out how to do this, but I'm glad I finally did, and hopefully if you, know, you find it useful. Thanks for watching.